Hello and welcome back. So it's been about a week or so since I've done a video. Um, I've added quite a bit of things. And um, so I wanna just go ahead and run through my pantry again, show you what all I've got, what I've picked up, um, and then go over some comments and concerns that some of you've had. So I wanna pass those on to people that um, are new to this and I'm just passing on tips from others um, and I'll try to give you some prices that way um, some of you know the best place to get stuff as of right now um, I know the cost of things are going up so that'll definitely change but for those of you that are getting started um, just know that I've only been doing it for maybe about two or three months now um, take your time and buy only what you're going to eat and youtube is a great place to get tips and um, information from other preppers so this is um i'm just trying to pass that on to you so here we go with an update i'm sorry i've got a kid in another room i've got a cat that likes to just bother the heck out of me when it's time to do a video so first, let's start in the freezer. Um, I did add a few things in here. So one thing that somebody suggested, actually a couple of you suggested, was putting my yeast in the freezer. So we've done that. Um, I still got some butter and cream cheese. So that's in there. Uh, beside this over, I have some smoked sausage in there. Um, I did make a Sam's trip this past week, so I picked up some uh, frozen meatballs. We will have, we I take those, you know the party meatballs with the grape jelly and the, the chili sauce? I thought that would be a great thing to do. Um, we like it with even, even by itself or with some rice. So I bought a big thing of that, I think that's six pounds. Um, we still have our hot dogs and our bologna. I have turkey bacon in here that we like. I found this at Sam's. Sorry about all the noise. So you get four 16 ounce bags of broccoli in here that you can steam in a bag. I think that was less than $5. I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I got some of that. Um, I added a couple big roasts this week because um kroger had them buy one get one free which i love that sale and when i come across it i stock up on roasts so there's four roasts in there and then while i was at sam's i got another huge bag of 10 pound bag of chicken breasts this is boneless skinless chicken breast um i think this time i'm gonna leave them in this bag We'll see how they do. Last time I got it, I froze them individually into vacuum sealing bags. Um, and I think that might be a little overkill. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if you guys have any tips or comments on that, please send them my way. And then under the chicken is our hamburger. So I got another big roll, um, a 10 pound roll from Sam's when I went, so I divided them up into about pound packages. So I think I have about 15 pounds now, which is really good. Um, again, I would love to have more and I will get more, but um, time and money, time and money. So that's our freezer, pretty good there. Um, I got some more water, we've dug into that. The only reason this water isn't on the shelf is because these are wider and um, that's not gonna fit there. So I thought, well, let's put it there. We'll go up here. I have got now, um, let's see, about 12 cans of the chicken breast. Um, I get mine at Sam's. They come out to be like $1.55 a piece or something like that. But if you have a Costco membership, definitely go and check out Costco because it's like $7 for a package of six. Um, this is like nine something at Sam's right now, but I'm going to be starting to make, um, 
I'm going to start making a lot more chicken salad. Um, cause I got a bunch of, I got like a dozen of croissants, um, at Sam's today. Still have my two cans of ground beef that will be used only, um, when necessarily have to. My peanut butter. I got this, um, container of peanuts. Um, I think, I think that was pretty cheap. Um, I'm really trying to remember what it is, but I can't can't remember eight dollars I think um so it's cheaper than buying the containers at Walmart um some cheesy Mexican rice this is very hard to find Walmart is the only place I've seen that carries it um, and last time I was there they were out so I want to stock up on that then we have our big cans of beef stew some ravioli um our roast beef hash the chili beans that we use all the time for our chili, of course, and then our beanie weenies that are still here. <laughs> um, my soups. So I have the cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. We use those in recipes. Um, our tomato soup is still here. This is very close to just being an annoyance for me, taking up space. So this is something I might be donating very soon. It's just these cans of soup. I have two cases of chicken noodle soup here um that I got at Sam's I think it was last month they were on sale and then my chunky soup um still have those again these will probably be just for emergency only we will eat them it's just not something that we'd like to eat um just on an everyday regular basis so um ramen noodles we still have two packages of each in here this is again something that will be emergency type food or something we'll eat either closer to date um or save for that extra special rainy day um all of our chicken broths we went through a couple last week but we still have all of our chicken and our beef broth is over here um up here we have I actually want to get my so up here we have our pasta so I have my uh, spaghetti noodles and then back behind there is my macaroni noodles we haven't used too many of those and then I started a bucket with the um, egg noodles we really like those um, easy to make just take some chicken broth and boil in that um, add some chicken or I've been eating them lately I've just been eating them um, cooked in chicken broth and I really enjoy it um so our macaroni and cheese this is something that we I mean we eat it but not a ton of so this box will last us quite a while now I have a viewer that said something about my cheese balls this is not long-term storage um, <laughs> she had stated that having these and the Ziploc bag is not going to last long. It's going to go stale. We will eat this way before it goes bad. And if it does go bad and stale, we'll probably just toss them. They were cheap. It's not something that we, um, like I tend to buy. It's just here if we want it. And if, but I, I didn't store that in there for long term. Um, we have our pop tarts here, um, our Oreos. And our chips ahoy so our cookie stash here we have gone through a box of oreos and we've gone through almost a box of chips ahoy in this pack box right here you get three of these packages so in case you're wondering um our waffle cones those will disappear this summer our girl, girl scout cookies um we like them but we just haven't gotten to them yet then we have our graham crackers Again, this summer um, with s'mores, we'll use those quite a bit. Our Ritz crackers. Um, and then I bought a big box of crackers last week because they were on sale at Sam's. Definitely use them. The Lucky Charms I bought from Sam's. They come, they were on sale again. I think both of these boxes were less than, I think it was like four something. So we will go through that. This is my absolute new favorite thing i've had it before but i i, don't, I guess i just kind of forgot about it i don't know 
but it's the Chicago mix of the Crater's Delicious. You can get it at Sam's. I think it's a, uh, it's a big bag, 29 ounces, I think, or something like that. It was less than five bucks, less than six bucks. Still have our cheese curls back there, our tortilla chips, and then that is my container of macaroni noodles. Up here is our paper towel, and I have two of them back there, I believe. Yes, this one's open, which normally I would have moved this one out to the kitchen, but um, kitchen's kind of full right now, so I'm just going to leave it up here. And then I bought this big package of pa uh, toilet paper from Sam's. I think it was $18 for 45 of them, and I still have another package from Aldi's and then I rearranged a little bit here so oh <laughs> Sam's had their tampons on sale so stocked up on those and then these panty liners are cheap at Walmart I think there's 108 in the box for less than five dollars so definitely stocked on that just one less thing I have to buy and worry about later so we have our body soap and our mouthwash, all of our extra uh, kids medicine in this bag for the summer, some hair products and body products. I found this today at Costco, um, sunscreen, and you get two in a pack for like $13. So I thought that was a good deal, picked that up. Summer is definitely coming up. And we spend a lot of time at the campground and at the pool. So in this container, I still have everything, my alcohol, my peroxide, um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, aspirin, Tylenol, hand sanitizer, soap, but I got a new container for it. I put it in this long, longer container. Um, and I'm hoping that none of the deodorant or soap smell or anything like that gets in with the toothpaste. It's still in the box. Everything is still sealed. So, again, if anybody has any ideas of maybe not storing those together, let me know because I don't see anything wrong with it yet. Okay, and then we'll go back down here. Um, still have our buckets of popcorn and rice. And then on the bottom, I've got my sugar right here and my flour here. I can show you my flour real quick. About 30 pounds of flour in here. Um, I've got all of it. It's all been um, frozen for four days and um, sealed. So that's what that looks. In the bottom of this bucket is the bay leaves. So I've just kind of mashed these in here. Put these in here like that. And I'll just pull one out whenever I need flour to fill up my container in my kitchen. Pull this out go the next one pretty pretty excited that that's done so we've talked about the water I've talked about my water before how I was doing the five gallon jugs and I really don't have a ton of room but I know I need more water than this so I saw this on a another YouTube video and I cannot remember who it was or I would um, give the shout out to them but I found this expandable tote. Um, I've seen them at Walmart. I've seen them at Sam's and I've got this one at Costco and I'm sure they, I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. This one, I only paid six something for the one at Sam's and Walmart is the same about the same price. So it folds flat like this and then you just pull up on it. The, the top here slides down to the sides and locks in place. And then you've got this nice big crate. So I'm trying to test it out to see how many gallons I can get in here of, of water. So I would love to get six gallons in here. If I can only get five, um, I feel like this is going to be a better storage than storing them this way because I can put five or six gallons in here and then stack these. And I could probably stack, I don't know, a good five, six of them at least in the area that I have just this water. So 
that's gonna be kind of my next little adventure is seeing how many I can get fit in here and then buying more of these and, and doing my water that way and seeing how many I can stack high. So stay tuned. I will make a video on that when I can. And then if you're not needing it, you just pull these up and then it just collapses flat. So it's really nice. I might get one from the trunk of my car, but that's that. Um, okay, back over here. So I've changed some things around here. Back, still have all this pop. Um, we've kind of slowed down on the pop, so it's going to take us a while to get through that. Got my baking soda in here, and then some vanilla. I bought this container, and this will hold all of our spices. So I've got chili powder, cumin. I use a lot of that for taco seasonings and chili powder chili of course parsley flakes some cayenne pepper onion powder um parsley flakes there's a big container of cayenne pepper there onion powder and um ground black pepper so those were cheaper at sam's the big ones you still have to watch your spices the prices at sam's and walmart and wherever else you go i got this from menards um this that's the cheapest place i could find ground cumin that was a good deal this is a dollar for a two ounce um the chili powder was cheapest at walmart these other ones i just i've had and then the parsley the ground black pepper the onion powder and the cayenne is cheaper right now at sam so i got a big container of those what i'm planning on doing with spices is like for my chili making up taking snack size ziploc bags making up spices that I would do for like a batch of chili. So I would use chili powder. I think cumin's in there. Um, salt, pepper. I know I put sugar in there and a couple other things. And then what I'm thinking about doing is freezing them. So put, I'll put like a batch of chili in the snack bag and then put like 10 snack bags into a gallon bag and then stick them in the freezer. And then that way, when I make chili, I can just pull out however many little snack bags I want to make chili with. Okay, still have this pop and our random pop down here. And then today I bought this case of Gatorades. Like I said, I told, said in my previous videos that I wanted to keep up on the Gatorade um, for before sick or just need that extra whatever. These are the 12 ounces. So these are the little ones and they come in the three different flavors, um, lemon, lime, fruit punch and orange and they were like $12 I think so and there's 28 of them so I thought that was a good deal we still have our ketchup our mustard barbecue sauces those will be used a little bit more in the summer um talked about our chili sauce for our meatballs and our grape jelly so that's in there um and I feel like that six pound bag of meatballs um it might make, I don't know if I would do a pound. I don't know what the recipe is, but so for a pound of meatballs, I would use container of jelly and container of chili sauce. So that's one meal, two meal, three meals, since I have one of each. My spaghetti sauce I've stocked up on. I think I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jars of that. Found these pickles today at Sam's. Um, 46 ounce, we love whole dill pickles, the baby ones. And these were like, I think these were three something a piece. So I got a couple of those. My grapeseed oil, um, still have my corn syrup, my olive oil. I, I did buy some stuff from Trader Joe's this past week, the sweet chili sauce. So I just got one of those. We'll have to try it first before I buy more. And I also bought this island salsa. Love this. So what I like to do with this is get a block of cream cheese and put it on a plate, pour this over it, and then eat it with just tortilla chips or crackers. So delicious. And then I found these little crates at Tuesday morning. And so I thought, oh, that'd be cute to put some, to organize some of my shelves. So I got 
several boxes of the onion soup mix that I use for roasts. And then I've got the ranch packets that I use to make cracked chicken. I also use to make with the, I also put with the onion mix to make the roast, the Mississippi roast. And then I have my corn muffin mix back there. I found this beer bread mix at Trader Joe's. So I'll pick that up. I've seen that on Facebook and thought I'd give that a try. And then my salt back there. Up here is my canned fruit and um, goes to the back there. Then the beets, which should be actually over here in the canned vegetables. And then I found pineapple chunks at Aldi's. They were not at my Aldi's. So I was wondering if Aldi's even carried them and I found them at a local, another local store. So I picked those up. I picked those pineapple chunks up at Walmart. That was before I knew that Aldi's had them. So I found these today at Costco. Sam's has them as well. Um, and they, they come in a bigger box, but the boys have already dug into them. So I thought I would just throw that there. I don't really like how this is kind of unorganized. It's not, I mean, I know what's here, but yeah, it's, it's not really exactly how I would like it. And there, <laughs> that's better too. Um, and then I got these at Costco as well. These are amazing. They're pricey, but they are delicious. The best peaches ever. Pick you up some of those if you can get to Costco. And then the tomato sauce that we added, um, I was wanting, I priced them at Sam's and they're, they're cheaper if you buy the 15 ounce can at, at Sam's, but Sam's was out of stock. So I had to figure out something else. I found these at, um, the same, all these that I found the chunks at, the pineapple chunks at, but I found these, these were 28 cents a can. So I use two of them in a batch of chili. Um, so even at 28 cents a can, it was still cheaper to get two of them from Aldi's than it was the ones at Sam's. So even though Sam's was out, I picked those up at Aldi's. My diced, petite diced tomatoes for my chili and goulash. All my canned vegetables. It goes back there. I want one more. Mm, I don't know if I can do one more stack actually, but still want to get some more. My canned potatoes. So that big bag of potatoes that was sitting there um, growing eyes, can those into, I think it's 12. No, we did 11 quart jars. So I'll use that mostly either to fry with or to make potato soup with. Okay, so here's my stack of mashed potatoes. Um, so I gotta tell you, I got these at either Walmart or Meyer. It's the four ounce and I paid a dollar for these. I went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has these. They are 6.2 ounces for a dollar. So I picked up several of those. A container of them. Because I thought that was a good deal. I mean, four ounces and 6.2 ounces. Now these are buttery, of course. These are not, but salt and pepper and butter can, butter doesn't need refrigeration. So picked up those. Um, we still have our boxed milk from Dollar Tree. It's a great place to get those. Um, and then I also found some whole milk, which is what we prefer. We got our lemonade back here and our Kool-Aid that we use. We are currently using this. This is probably half full. Then I used, had some leftover containers that when I took some stuff out and rearranged stuff in the kitchen, I had two of these. So these are our drink mixes. We have the um, grape and the kiwi strawberry. This is another little container that I got Tuesday morning. Has our to-go lemonades in it. And then apple juice. I went ahead and grabbed another one while I was at Sam's. 
our tomato juice. I still need to grab more for recipes. Our ranch dressing. Our Thousand Island dressing. And our Hershey syrup. Okay, so over here, I want to show you this a little bit. I've got, it's really messy over here, but this is the start, my start up of doing our bug out bags. So we have some petroleum jelly that we're going to use. Um, we take that in cotton balls and have um, fire starter with that. In here is our documents as far as like our passports and social security cards and stuff like that that I will put in my bag. I bought these emergency blankets. I think I got six of them for $8. Our cotton balls. And then I found um, some utensils at Walmart for 88 cents. This little gadget. I found at Walmart, which I'm going to do a bug out video here soon. Um, so I'll go over that. And then here is our bug out bags of what we've got started. So this is for the cat. <laughs> he, he's got to come with us. And then this is my youngest son's and, uh, I'll get into more what's in there and what we're going to put in there at a video here very soon. Up here is our AA batteries. Um, I have a first aid kit up there, our ammo box, some masks and gloves that we're saving, our Dawn dish soap. I got this at Sam's really good deal this past week. I think that was $7 for 90 ounces. Our fire extinguisher, vacuum sealing system, and our butane stove and our butane fuel um, supply. So that is about it. A good update for you. If you have any comments or tips, please put them in the comments. And I will love to read them and respond. So thank you very much. Please like the video, share it, and subscribe. Thank you.